Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why doesn't she turn around? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue me. He's already dead. I can feel you coming. Shh. coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, no. That's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new, but they've... changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? Is it now? Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you could. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. And if I had any doubt whatsoever, the kind of story and the kind of game I was now getting myself into, I think that intro does that absolutely beautifully. Very subtle, but all the different voices in her head and everything, I think it's just done absolutely beautifully. Right. Let's try and work out where we are then. Somewhere rather nasty, I would probably say. Now, I'm going to assume the game is going to introduce me to what I need to know before I need to know it. Possibly. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. So I seem to have accidentally stumbled across something there. So hopefully the game will introduce me to everything else that I need to know, but so far... So far this is really setting the tone for the game really well, I believe. If the idea of the game is to scare the living hell out of you in the opening area. Okay, she's done that all by herself. I feel like I don't want to say anything because I've got all the voices not like, talking to me all the time. Oh dear. Um, things are starting to take a turn for the worse. Okay, I don't think she likes being in the water. She needs to run. I don't know how to run. Okay, yeah, well that's actually quite terrifying. Like a pack of 
wolves on a hunt. But she's not stopping. Okay, I think the world is literally tearing itself apart at the moment. I don't think I can do anything apart from just continue walking, so I just hope it sorts itself out, you know, in a little while, maybe. I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking to. Not this time. Okay, things seem to be a little bit back to normal now. I think she just had a bit of a traumatic event. Oh, wow. Knives across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Hellheim. Do I do I ask what's in the bag? Oh, it's actually moving. I think it's talking to her. It's a head, isn't it? So he's there, you know. There's no doubt about he's it. Lost. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Come on. Her dear beloved. Dear Wow, well that's one hell of a sight. And how do I get there? There's a bridge, so I take it I... What is she doing? Head Why for the bridge. Doing Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. Okay, so where are we going? I follow the beach. I don't think I'm going His across soul. the water. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants her soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him yeah, to rest. I, I want to lay someone to rest and save their soul and put their soul she can save him. There's nothing she can do. to rest. She'll never make it to help her. Am I <laughs> aiming for that bridge? I'll take it I'm aiming for the bridge. I'm going to aim for the bridge. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Sorry? That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Right, so only... Only the dead shall pass across the bridge. That is going to be a stumbling block. I can see that at the moment. But secondly, I've got to get up to the bridge, and they, they, the voices, whoever's talking, said there's a hidden way up to the bridge. And I'm assuming that's this way at the moment. Yep, that would seem fairly, a fairly good place to start, I believe, is over there. Oh, there's a, another one of those stone thingies. I'm not going for a completionist playthrough this time. I just want to get to know the game and play the game and play the story. But, if I enjoy the game, maybe I'll come back and try and do a completionist playthrough and find all these. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. 
Okay, so basically saying I'm going where only dead normally tread. And that was a bit of a history on where all the other groups of people, I suppose, or mythological creatures, wherever they believe they live. Okay, how do I climb? Okay, no, that's fine. I've found that out myself. Okay, it doesn't seem too difficult to get up there, but we're about to find out. I think crossing the bridge is going to be the difficult part. Apparently only the dead shall cross. And unless I've misjudged this game quite dramatically, I don't believe I'm dead. Yet. Okay, how do I cross this? Carefully, carefully is how I cross this. No, don't, don't tell her to fall. No, I'm fine. I'm across this, this is great. That part is true. At the moment, don't have that much of a clue apart from to the bridge. Just drop down. Really? Um. Okay. I believe that's no going back. Why did she do that? I don't know. Can I go back? No, I can't. No, this is it. The hidden path. Okay. I found the hidden path. So things aren't too bad after all. Things are horrendous, aren't they? Things aren't going to get any better from here on in. Like I can focus. I can do that at any point. So maybe I should be looking out for things. Okay, that's focusing. Oh, that's run. I have just found the run button. Okay, I have a run button now. That probably would have been a little bit nice to know earlier on. But no, I have a run. Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Okay, let's have a look at this then. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay, so I've got to find a symbol that looks like that. Okay. Is it going to be on the walls? Symbol on the... Nope, found it. Um, yeah, I think it's there. Do I line it up? It's the Look towards the gate. And the gate will open. Okay. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind Okay, so I worked that safe. out then. It worked. Right, but well, that wasn't too hard to work out. I feel it's going to get... six years and slaved in hell. Harder. But I watched the Northmen. 
learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people feel the heavy prize. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Okay, so I seem to have gained another companion. I do feel the companions in my head. And therefore probably not going to be that much help us. in a fight. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. This looks a little bit more trickier than the last one. You know, because of all the water and stuff. Yeah? I'll just keep looking down, actually. It's a nice view over there, but I feel like I need to know exactly where I'm going. I don't want to look up. I think looking up will be a tragic, tragic mistake. But so, I have all these voices in my head. A lot of them are just trying to give me a bit of doubt by the looks of it. And am I crossing that? Now I have severe doubt. Looking at that, I have severe doubt now. So I believe they're trying to give me doubt. There's one who's basically telling my story. I don't know if that's me. And I seem to have gained a person. Was it Drew? It was someone. It was... I've gained someone. And they're going to be telling me stories of... Of their journey into hell. And at any time I can have a good look around and focus and I don't think this is going to be a very safe crossing to be perfectly and honest. It's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay, but you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. I wish I could wish that away but I think what she's saying is true. Dig. God, I'm high up, aren't I? Um, is there any way to make this crossing a little bit easier? No, I can't. Y yes. Yes, I will. Dig, God, just make it across safely. No, I'm not. I'm not going to die up here. Any oh, my. What, is that me? Do I have control of that? Okay. I think I actually do have more control in crossing this than I originally thought. So let's just take this a little bit careful. There we go. Thank God. Just let's just get over here to a bit of safety. I feel a little bit safer now. Let's have a look at this. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the Nine Worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Okay, to Hela... My Dillion was sacrificed, and it's her I've got to do the bargain. So that's why I've come here. I've come here to resurrect someone who's dead. Oh, I can see the bridge. Doesn't look too bad, but I've still got ringing in my ears that only the dead shall pass. And I believe I'm still very much alive. I'm a bit worse for wear at the moment, but still very much alive. Okay, let's go down here. I love the HUD on this game. The HUD is... Well, it's non-existent. There isn't a HUD. And it just assumes that you're going to know what buttons to press. That's a big assumption, because I don't have a clue what buttons to press, really. I just press a bit of everything until something works. But it seems to be working at the moment. And to be fair, she knows a lot of what she's doing anyway. Ducking down there about any prompt. Okay, am I at the bridge? Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. 
Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. And this isn't going to be good. I'm pretty sure whoever this someone is isn't going to want me to be going through the door. There's another door. Oh. Oh, there's lots of doors. Good. Okay, what's happening to me? Oh my. Um, I'm about to fight someone, aren't I? Okay, how do I fight? No. No, how... Yeah, okay, so that's dodge. And how do I... Right, I'm not sure about this attacking. Ah, right, okay. Okay. Now, there was a... Let's start... I think... Oh, there's a stone there. I'll have a look at that stone in a little bit. I just need to... It's nearly over. Oh, no it's not. Where did he come from? Okay, I've got quick attacks and some slow, strong attacks. Oh, and I've got a kick, which... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm starting to lose health. So I've got a... Well, that's not fair. He keeps coming back. Okay. What was block again? It was that, okay. Well, that's fast attack. Let's do a couple of heavy attacks. No, 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 no. Right. Am I going to be... Oh, I can't finish this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, right. So there's... There's three of them. He's not a better fighter. He's like... Can I even beat him? I don't know if I'm supposed to be beating him up. No, 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 no. I'm not going to die. This is, this is fine. Are we calling that one a draw then? I'm not sure if that's a win or not. feel I lost that. I was fighting against, you know, quite severe odds there. Okay, get up. I'm fine. Everything's fine. It is everything fine. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. 
The darkness does not bargain, it does not reason. It is rot, and now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay, yeah, this game sort of messes with your mind just a little bit, doesn't it? The dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. Oh, right, so this is like a permadeath then, and all progress will be... This is a permadeath then, will be lost. Okay. Well... Well, that wasn't in the description. 